Hello and welcome to JN Aquarium. My name is Jesse and we're going to work on the 6 foot 180 gallon tank today. We have some female Mapenga trevasses that have mouthfuls that need to come out. We're going to show you how we do that, uh, what we do with the eggs and or babies when we do pull them out. And we're going to move a couple of the males. We have four males in this tank. We're going to move two of them to our uh, trophyist tank upstairs. I think they'll fit in just great. So stay tuned. You'll see how to strip uh, some abuna of their eggs or fry and uh, a breakdown of the 180. So we're at this point where I can start trying to catch the females. So one of the four males we have in here, two of the four males, you're gonna go up and try life with the uh, trophies, see how it works out. We'll keep a close eye on to make sure everybody's getting along, but you know, we have too many males in here. We're getting a lot of this now. Uh, and we have three females. There's one right there with mouthfuls that we're gonna strip. So we don't always strip them just because this is a big undertaking by the time I catch them. But this is where we're at. And just feel realize how long this taco is. Look at that. Right to the floor. Down and goes right to the floor on this side too. So that's our aquaponic system at work and I think it does a great job here. So next up, catch some trevazis. There's one. Sometimes this is a bit invasive, but there we go. It's, uh, I believe, healthier for them than holding the term in the tank, being harassed by the males. Oh, and I lost. I don't like to squeeze them too tight, so sometimes they get loose from me. I'm doing this. This. There she goes. A little bit of pressure on the bottom. Uh, let's work with a Q-tip. She's got a few eggs in there. Now, if you have lots of extra tanks and you want to give her some time to recoup before the big tank, you do that. Uh, we don't, so she's going right back in the big tank. There's plenty of hiding spots, and like I said, we are removing a couple of the males. And this way, at least she'll get to, to eat again. I think there's a couple more in there. Let's see if we can't get them to come out. So 180 is back together. Uh, it was my mistake. I thought I had four males in here. I had five males in here and four females. So it was quite a bit out of whack, but they've been kind of working at this point. So now we have three males. I took out a dominant male. So there's going to be a bit of battle between the two subdominant males for the next uh, spot. But uh, they just want to get fed right now and they'll probably want to spawn tonight. So I always do after a water change. So the eggs are happily, slowly tumbling away in a little five gallon tank and a homemade egg tumbler. I have some baby erratuses in here as well. And uh, we'll get the lid back on this tank. It's got a matting filter, it works pretty good. And uh, these guys will happily hatch away in there. Uh, there might be some infertile ones. I see some that are a lot lighter than others. We'll see and pull them out as we need to. So the last guys we've got to worry about is those two male trevasses. So the trevasses have been in the tank here with the uh, trophies for about an hour and a half or so now. They're just kind of hanging out. They've had some sparring. They've uh, had some differences. But the, uh, the penguins really have nothing to fight about in here since they have no females. But everybody seems to have calmed out now. And it looks like they just might be good dither fish for... Uh, 
for the Trava uh, sorry for the Trophius. So, so far so good. We'll monitor it, see how it uh, goes, but uh, so far so good, and I'm happy with what we're getting. Uh, so thank you for watching, and uh, if you can, please subscribe, and happy fish keeping.